Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to be taking a look at all of our IP switches. 3G Store offers a variety of IP switches, including the two outlet IP switch, one outlet IP switch, and a variety of iBoot models depending on your installation. First, we're going to take a look at the similarities between the two and one outlet switches. Each IP switch can automatically power cycle any device if internet connectivity is lost, prevent a connection from going dormant, power cycle devices on a schedule, and can be controlled remotely, with free applications. The automatic power cycle of equipment is one of the key features on each IP switch, so we're going to demonstrate that here by pulling the internet connection out of a router. Now the outlet can no longer see an internet connection, and once it has failed its health checks, it will power cycle that router off and then back on again to try and regain that connectivity. If you're watching the lights on the router on the right, you'll see them switch off. That is when the switch is now powered off the outlets. And now that remote equipment is powered back on automatically. A few features that are unique to the two outlet switch include the number of and ways you can configure the power schedules. Up to 20 unique power schedules can be created for a variety of days of the week, every week, times of the day, and different actions per each outlet depending on your use. Sped up here, we have an example of one of those uses where we are automatically powering off two different lights. Now this can be any two different pieces of equipment. We have a power schedule that will turn off one outlet and then turn it back on just a minute later. We've also set up a second power schedule to the second outlet for a few minutes later that's then going to turn off that second device and turn it back on just a minute later. This can be for lights, security systems, modems and routers, or even video cameras that have trouble staying online consistently in remote locations and you don't have the ability to get on the scene to power them off and on remotely. The money saved on truck rolls to remote equipment usually outweighs the cost of the IP switch with just its first couple of uses. Five addresses are configurable for pinging external sites as well as local addresses of sensitive equipment. Just because the two outlet switch is meant to work remotely and automatically, it doesn't mean you can't go in and manually control it. Using Google Talk, now called Google Hangouts, you can send instant message commands to the switch and it will immediately respond. Get status will tell you the current ping responses for the configurable addresses. Get IP can tell you the WAN and local IP address of the switch on a network. Entering a command incorrectly is okay as well, as it will simply just respond with the help options for how you will format your messages. So, as an example, set outlet 1 on without a space did not give us the right response, but set on 1 says done, which means the outlet 1 has been powered on remotely. While the two outlet switch has many more configurable features, the one outlet switch is much simpler and easier to use. The web interface here is much more basic compared to the two outlet version and really only provides you needed information and you have a minimal amount of schedules you can set up here. The key feature of the one outlet switch though is its mobile application support. Free iOS and Android apps are available for remote control of the outlet. You can individually go into each outlet you have added to your application, power cycle on, off, or reset devices connected to the outlet. You can control things like the power schedules all through the mobile application, so you really never even need to sit down at a computer to set anything up on the switch. The iBoot comes in a variety of models depending on your needs. There is the iBoot G2 model, the iBoot G2 Plus, the iBoot EXP for use with the G2 Plus, and a DC model. The connection and setup of an iBoot is also very straightforward. There is an included cord for connecting the iBoot to power. You then have another power cord. This is going to be where you plug in the device that you wish to monitor or control. You then connect an Ethernet cable between the iBoot and the rest of your network, and now it is online and ready to be configured. The G2 Plus model also has a USB port for connecting to a PC. One end of a USB port plugs into the iBoot, while the other end goes directly into a Windows PC or server. Using the free companion software, the switch will talk to the PC and perform a graceful shutdown of that equipment if it's required. The EXP units are compatible with the G2+, Plus, meaning a single G2+, Plus can have three outlets controlled from a single IP address. 
For specialty installations, there's also an iBoot DC model for direct connection to DC-powered appliances such as solar panels or pumps and motors. iBoot Cloud Services is a centralized management page where you can control all of your iBoots from a single location. To discuss which IP switch is best for you, contact the experts at 3G Store. For more information, visit 3gstore.com slash ipswitch, and for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.